All right, Soccer Master fans, finishing off the Dutch Sex Wave collection from Scorpio Films, it's My Nights with Susan, Sandra, Olga, and Julie. Party time, let's check it out. Meet Sandra and Olga, and they're strutting down the road. And this is an American tourist who just happened upon them. Hey, care for a ride? A few minutes later, uh, Sandra gives him exactly what he's looking for. But then Olga bashes him with a whiskey bottle and kills him. Well, they take his car, and they dump his body in the water, and then they just leave the car and go back home. Not sure why they did any of this. But that's a woman named Piet, and she's watching them. I'm Anton. I know you. Now, they live in a farmhouse with Susan. Heard about you from Barbara. And she has a visitor she's named in Anton. I've come to take you there. I'm not sure. If Susan's I'm a former model or something, and she's now living in a farmhouse because she wanted to get away from the city, I guess. We don't know much about Piet except she's like mentally disturbed. Something. Pit, pit, stupid pit, you see my pussy, you see my pit. So that's Piet. And Sandra and Olga are always making fun of her. Piet's been around for years. And time to be friends, Sandra and Olga. Even though he's supposed to be with Susan, Sandra's I guess. Sandra's been horny all day. Her tits are hard. Her pussy is wet. And as Anton starts to make it with Sandra, Olga looks like she's going to kill him too, but ultimately she stops short when Julie pops in. That's Julie. So Crazy Piet goes to investigate that body she saw them dump in the water and decides to take his sunglasses. He ain't using them anymore. Not only did she take the sunglasses, but she took the whiskey bottle that they used. Got that. I'll kill her. And right away, Sandra recognizes that bottle. Which bottle? The goddamn bottle he threw through the window. Sure. Did I mention there's a guy living in the wall named Albert? Not satisfied with just the sunglasses, she wants the whole body. So Piet <laughs> takes him from the water and brings him, brings him home to her shed where she lives. Not careful, I'll tell Susan about the sunglasses, the convertible, and the American. You know, I care less and less about. Well, Julie goes to visit Albert. It's not really hidden in the wall. There's just like a hidden room on the other side there that he peeps out. And watches, but Julie comes by periodically and makes love with him. Meanwhile, Susan and Anton are Besides, getting pretty chummy right, too. They knew something was going to change. Do you remember when I showed you your room? Maybe she'll never come back. So what? We could take care of Albert too, can't we? What Susan got that we don't have? Apparently they didn't realize there was the peephole there. Albert is scared that uh, Susan's going to leave and run off with Anton. Susan feeds him. Anton, he's taking you away. Why? Susan, don't you remember? When I came here. Sandra and Olga bully Piet again. You know it all, huh? 
Clyde. Are you tall? Are you blonde? Come and have a look if you want to see him. We're going to seduce him now. You can do with us whatever you want. Well, I can't show you what they do to him. Use your imagination, but Julie overhears it, and then she gets super jealous because Albert, that's her man. Anton tries to stop Julie from leaving. Can I help? He is not successful. Notice Julie has a shirt with her name on it. Well, that depends. Anton grills them to find out what they did to that American tourist. Sweet to him too. And if he wasn't sweet, you'd knock his brains out with a whiskey bottle. He knows. Meanwhile, Susan goes to feed Albert. Albert. And the girls did a number on him. He's dead. And she runs out to the shed where uh, Anton almost got killed by the two ladies in there. They lock the ladies in the shed and take off while Piet's watching. They decide, let's just get the hell out of here. We're done with this life. Piet comes in, finds Albert's body while the other two are gone. Well, Piet grabs Albert's body and takes it back to her place for, you know, to add to her collection of dead bodies. And they all have cigars. She goes out to the shed where the Sandra and Olga are trapped inside, locked in there. And she spreads gasoline all over it. That's the end of those two. It's also the end of our film. All right, that was a weird one. Uh, from the Dutch Sex Wave Collection, which I have now finished. It, it was My Nights with Susan, Sandra, Olga, and Julie. Um, this is a movie that was actually released by private screenings back in the late 80s um, under that same title. And I have that, actually. And I thought this DVD, or this Blu-ray, I should say, uh, did not have an English soundtrack. So I actually burned that, and I was going to review that particular version of it. But I was wrong. This one does have an English soundtrack on it. And it was kind of interesting because I'm pretty sure they took the English soundtrack from the private screenings tape. I did find something online that mentioned... It was taken from a VHS tape from 1984, but if you look in the very beginning credits here, just before the film kind of starts, you hear that very familiar uh, musical interlude uh, that Private Screenings does when their logo comes on the screen and goes up. It's unmistakable. That's exactly what it was from. But anyway, the movie itself, hard to describe this movie. Uh, IMDb says it's uh, drama, action, horror, and there's a description that mentions something about vampires. There's no vampires here. There's no, like, supernatural stuff going on here, but horror, maybe? We have uh, two women, Sandra and Olga. They're just uh, kind of these two sexy chicks walking down the road. An American tourist approaches them, um, gives them a ride. Uh, Sandra ends up screwing him in the front seat. Olga's in the back seat. She takes a whiskey bottle, smashes him in the head, and kills him. Why? I don't know. They took his car and drove it for about a half a mile. Then they took the body out, dumped it in the water. They left the whiskey bottle, uh, they left the cigars, they left everything. I don't think they stole anything from him. They just, they just took him and killed him. And then they dumped the car, too. They left that just laying there, too. So I don't know what they gained by killing this man. Well, they live in this house with two other people. Julie, who's also this sexy babe. I'm not sure what exactly she is. Uh, Sandra, I'm sorry, Susan, who is kind of like running the place. Uh, she, I guess, was a former model who's come here to live here because she wants to get get away from the city and the rat race there. There's also a guy named Albert who lives behind a peephole in this hidden room in the house. They know he's there. They talk to him. They don't know that he's peeping at them, though, uh, but he can see them naked and doing whatever they do. Uh, there's some nice lesbian action between Sandra and Olga as well, and he watches all of that. Um... Susan, like, feeds him, brings him food and stuff. I don't know. I've never really explained why he's hiding in the wall there um, with no windows and stuff. He just lives there. Anyway, the, this other guy named Anton shows up. I guess he somehow knew. He doesn't know Susan, but he 
came there to meet her or something, and then he ends up staying, and he ends up sleeping with the two legged girls first, Sandra and Olga, and then he ends up sleeping with Susan, um, and then later on, uh, there's this other woman named Piet, who's this crazy woman who lives nearby. She's got, she's mentally disturbed and somehow, but she saw the two girls kill the American tourist. She tosses a whiskey ball at them, so they, they know that she knows. She takes the body um, of the dead guy, fishes him out of the water, takes it back to her house, and just props him up in a chair and takes his sunglasses. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, uh, the two, uh, the, uh, uh, I guess the two girls, Sandra and Olga, didn't know that. Uh, Albert was peeping on them, so that he hears their whole story about how they killed the guy, blah, blah, blah. So now he knows, and uh, he's threatening to tell Susan about it. Well, they come in, they seduce him, and they end up killing him, too. Um, Piet, um, well, not, not yet, but anyway. Then uh, Anton grills the two girls, about because he figures out that they killed the tourists, too. They don't, he doesn't know about Albert yet. And they're trying to kill him. He escapes and locks him in the shed. Um, Piet sees all of this. Susan and Anton decide, screw this. We're leaving. We're done with this life. They leave. Piet goes into the house, finds uh, Albert's body, takes it and puts it in her shed where, or her house, whatever she's living in, with the other dead body, lights up some cigars and puts them in their mouths. And then she douses the shed where the two girls are locked in and douses it with gasoline and then burns them to death. And then um, she sits back and smokes her cigar and that's how the movie ends. Just an odd, odd film, but I found this film quite intriguing. I, I enjoyed it. There's a, there's enough eye candy going on here to keep you satisfied there. It's not an overabundance of nudity, but there's there's plenty in it, full frontal nudity and such, uh, both male and female, actually. Um, it's a it's kind of a cool movie. I think I would watch this one again. I had seen this before, but I remembered literally zero about it. I saw it maybe in the early 2000s or so when I picked up that VHS tape, but it's an interesting film. I don't know how else to describe it. Um, the Blu-ray looks fantastic. Scorpio, again, did a fantastic job with this. It's a Dutch film, uh, from the Netherlands, and only two of the four movies on this, on this, uh, have an English soundtrack. They all have subtitles, all English subtitles, if you're looking for that, but they, just the, the, I don't know, the colors look great. The, uh, uh, cinematography was great. It just, the setting was really cool. You could just picture yourself as if you were there. You could just almost feel, feel the, feel the wind blowing. It was pretty cool. I love the setting. I wish I could find exactly where that was. Somewhere in the Netherlands, I guess. But anyway, I highly recommend this movie. Um, this Dutch sex wave collection is a pretty cool collection, actually. I don't know why there was a call for this or if there was, but thank you, Scorpio Films. You did a good job. So I'll leave a link down below to uh, snatch that up from Amazon if you're looking for it, and I would suggest doing it. Um, it's probably going to get pricey at some point in the near future, uh, but it's available now. You can get it for about 40 bucks or so. You can get a DVD or Blu-ray, actually. So check it out. Buy it. Click that link and get it, and um, let me know what you think about it. It's called My Nights with Susan, Sandra, Olga, and Julie. Long title. Decent film. Watch it. Bye.